So here we're going to focus on how we manage and move connected clips on our timeline. So the first thing we're going to have a look at is some basic moves that we can do when we're working with connected clips. So if you have a look on my timeline here, I have snapping turned on and snapping is great. It means that when we move a connected clip around like so, it's going to snap to those edit points, which is really handy when we're moving any clips around, in particular connected clips. So that's one way of moving things around and keeping things lined up, especially if we're pulling connected clips below other clips or we want to stack them in a certain order and line things up with certain edit points on the timeline. This could be for audio editing or for image or video editing as we're doing here. The next tip that I wanted to share with you, and I'm just going to move this clip back up is that we can move connected clips in one go. So if you have a sequence of connected clips that are timed perhaps for a music video or something like that, then we can highlight holding down shift more than one clip and then drag all those connected clips in one go. Now, this is good. It can be a little inaccurate if you want to get a kind of more precise movement um, to a certain point or you want to test little nudges for your connected clips, particularly if you're syncing stuff with sound, that can be useful. So if you look on your keyboard next to the M key, just to the right of the M key, you'll see that there are two chevrons there, the little arrows pointing left and right. They're on the same keys as the comma and the period or full stop key. And if I hit the left hand side one of those, it will nudge my clips by one frame at a time to the left or to the right. And that's a really nice way of refining your clips. Now you can do this with edit points on the main timeline as well. One other shortcut you can use with this nudging is to hold down the shift key. And if you do that, when you press the left or right chevron, it will nudge it by a few frames at a time. Okay, so we can get bigger movements. We can nudge a few clips in our timeline very easily. So I just click here to deselect my clips. And what I wanna look at now is how I select clips that aren't in sequence. So if I use shift and click on those three clips, it's gonna select everything in between. So what I want to do here now is just select the top clip and this first connected clip down here. And what I can do is use the command key to do that. So if I hold down command, I can select two or more clips that aren't next to each other. And then I can either move them manually by dragging them with the mouse, or I can nudge them one frame or a number of frames at a time using those shortcuts that I just showed you. Another shortcut that I use quite a lot um, when I'm moving clips up and down is to hold down the shift key um, because that keeps things in line. So if I drag this clip up now, you can see that it's kind of moving freely and snapping with the edit points. Okay, so I'm just going to do Command and Z to send that back. If I want to keep it in exactly the same position in time on the timeline, then I'm going to hold down shift and drag that up and that will mean I can't drag it left to right. You can see the mouse moving left and right there, but the clip staying exactly in the same time. So that's a really handy shortcut. So click on a clip, hold down shift, drag it down, and it will allow you to move those clips up and down in the layers without them moving in time. That's a really handy way of keeping things in sync. Another useful thing to be able to do with a connected clip is to move a clip that you have on the main timeline, but leave the connected clips in place. So you can see here I have these two connected clips. And what I want to do is move this brick wall away from this area of the edit with leaving the connected clips in place. So what I'm actually going to do is lift this from the main storyline. So I'm going to go to edit and lift from storyline. And what you can see is it lifts it from the main storyline, but it keeps those connected clips clips in place. So what I can do now is I can make a number of different edits. I can either move this clip completely away from that clip, or I can make an edit, for instance, of the endpoint that I may have wanted to make. Okay. And then I can bring that clip back down to the main storyline. So with that clip selected, I can go to edit, overwrite to primary storyline. And you can see now I've moved that clip to the side, but kept those connected clips in place. So by lifting the clip and then by dropping it down in a different spot. And obviously we could have made a number of different edits there as we're working on that. So there are a few quick tips for moving things around when you're working with connected clips and also moving things around on the main storyline when you've got connected clips that you don't want to move around. I hope that's been helpful. And if you have any questions about working with connected clips, moving them around or any other editing questions in Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel or leave a comment on my YouTube channel. I get a lot of great feedback on some of my videos, which are always great to receive. So thanks a lot for that. And uh, I really appreciate everyone who's subscribed to the channel and I'm going to keep on adding new video tutorials up here um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.